we're trying to call attention to a tremendous human rights abuse that is being almost completely ignored. And I will be very brief. Uh, I am Robert Spencer from Jihad Watch, and uh, thanks. We have, a, we have a full roster of speakers here today, and so I just wanted to expand on a couple of things that uh, Pamela said earlier. Uh, you all know, of course, that the uh, media is spinning this as a, uh, an exercise in hatred and Islamophobia, and that uh, the earlier conference that was held today is uh, claiming that uh, we are blaming Islam for something that has nothing to do with Islam. And Pamela has already touched on this in uh, saying that, pointing out that 91% of all honor killings are done by Muslims and among Muslims. And that that is no accident. It is in a manual of Islamic law, Reliance of the Traveler, or Umdara Salik, that is actually certified by Al Azhar University, which is the foremost authority in Sunni Islam. And Sunni Muslims are 85 to 90 percent of all Muslims worldwide. And this manual of Islamic law is certified as being a reliable guide to what Islam is. And it says in there that there is no retaliation for a parent who kills a child, there is no penalty. Not only that, Jordan, Syria, Palestinian Authority, Iraq, and elsewhere. If you kill somebody, then you have the various uh, kinds of punishments that prevail around the world. But if you can prove that it was an honor killing, you get off lightly. And in Jordan, the Jordanian parliament actually several years ago tried to stiffen penalties for honor killings. And it was Islamic clerics who opposed this measure and ultimately defeated it saying that it would weaken the family. We have to face the facts that if we're going to defend the human rights of these girls who are threatened, then we have to face that this is an Islamic problem. And this does not mean that every Muslim in the world is going to kill his daughter, but the justifications for this practice are in Islamic law, and that is why 91% of honor killings take place among Muslims. And unless and until we face that, and unless and until we call upon the Muslim community in the United States and worldwide to face it, more girls are going to die. And so it's all very well for the Imam at the Islamic Center of America in Dearborn to say, well, Pamela Geller is the problem, and she's spreading Islamophobia. But what he is doing is exactly what she said it was. It is pro-honor killing. It is in defense of honor killing. Because by standing up against those of us who are trying to call attention to this barbarity and to end it and making us into the problem, he is doing nothing but running interference for honor murder. And so pro-honor killing is exactly the right term for those who have come out in opposition to what we're doing here today. This is not a problem that is of stigmatizing individuals. This is a problem of a legal code that threatens individuals. 